Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome to a new video. A lot of you have asked for this, so you ask and we deliver. I'm going to teach you expressions from Medellin. So I want to clarify, I'm not from Medellin, I'm Costeña. But I did live in this city for a while. I visit quite often and I love it. And I speak a very fluent paisa after a few years. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you the expressions, but my accent is not going to sound like a natural paisa. It would be an interesting exercise if you could tell me in the comments if you can tell or feel the difference between my accent and the paisa accent. So paisas is how we call people from this city, from Medellin. Una paisa is a girl from Medellin and un paisa is a guy from Medellin. People all over Antioquia and its surroundings are also considered paisas. And paisa is also how we call their dialect, hablar paisa, to speak paisa. The first slang I'm going to teach you is parce. Parce means friend. You can use it pretty much with anyone. ¿Qué más? ¿Bien o no? This is the way paisas have to ask how someone is doing. Mijo o mija. I would say this one is Colombian in general, but paisas use it quite often. Mijo or mija, it's an abbreviation that comes from mi hijo or mi hija, which means my son or my daughter, but it's not used like that only. You can say it between friends. You can also hear all couples, uh, mijo or mija, each other. It's funny. <laughs> Kiwo. You can find this one here too in the coast. It's a greeting. It is short for que hubo, sort of how are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Que hubo parece que más, bien o no? I know those were like a hundred greetings in one same sentence, but this is a paisa thing too. I think it's a Latin American thing in general. We take too long to say hello and also to say goodbye. Instead, English speakers tend to be more practical. Why do you think that is? Let me know in the comments if you have a theory. Another phrase you can hear with the slangs above is ¿Qué hubo pues, mijo? El pues. It translates to then, but Pisces use it pretty much with every sentence or a lot while talking. Melo. Melo means cool, chill. ¿Qué tal el parche? Melo. Parche. This one is also Colombian in general. Parche can be a group of people reunited hanging out or it could be the plan or activity itself. So I can say, Maria, Juan y Andres son mi parche. Maria, Juan and Andres are my parche. And that would be, it's my regular group of friends. Está buenísimo el parche en ese bar. The parche is really good at that bar and that would mean is a good plan to go to that bar in question. And from this one come other expressions like estar parchado, to be parchado, which means to be relaxed. Estoy aquí en mi casa tomándome una pola, parchada. That means I'm here in my house, drinking a beer, chilling. Pola. Pola is the name Pisces have for beer, cerveza. You can also hear Pola in other parts of the country. This comes from Policarpa Salavarrieta. She is an independence heroine. And many years ago, there was a beer named La Pola in her honor. Me da dos polas bien frías, me hace el favor. Que caja. The literal translation to this is what a box. <laughs> it means that something or someone is really funny. The verb would be tirar caja, to throw a box, and that's like laughing. Que chimba! I've mentioned this one in other videos. This one is essential Medellin slang. It means something is cool, is great, is awesome. You can use it pretty much with anything, with a situation, with a place, with an activity. Que chimba de restaurante? Esa camiseta está una chimba. Medellin es una chimba, parce. Nea. This expression refers to a person who doesn't look good or who looks dangerous. Someone that looks that could rob you. But people also call each other like that between friends. And paisas use it all the time, like joking around among friends. Los pisos. This translates to the floors and they use it to refer to sneakers, to shoes. I think that's fun. Que pena. 
Que pena would translate to what a shame, but it means excuse me. When you do something embarrassing, you say que pena to apologize. Guache. This is how paisas say someone is very rude or discourteous. For example, no salgas con él, es un guache. That would be don't date him, he's an a-hole. <laughs> Cucho o cucha. This is how you call an old person in Medellin, but it's also how you call your parents. Está muy cucho pa eso. You're too old for that. Hoy voy a salir con los cuchos. I'm going out with my parents today. And, and now, as a bonus, I'll show you a really funny audio my paisa friend sent to me. I asked him to define two expressions I always hear, but I never know what they mean, which are pato, that translates to duck, and charro. You're going to listen to him defining those words and listen to the Paisa accent. Bellecita, bellecita, casi que no tengo un tiempito bombón. A ver, pato, pato. Mm. ¿Cómo te describo yo a pato, nena? Es como cuando un man es como muy huevo, muy bobo. Pues como digamos un man muy pato con una polla, es un man que le diga cosas como, como estúpidas, como que le eche los perros como torpe, como que diga cosas boas, como que ah, qué man tan pato, ¿no es cierto? Como digamos alguien que al arte digamos de la plata y que se crea la chimba y que porque tiene plata o porque se cree el manputas con las chimbas o porque... Sí, alguien como medio agrandado y así, de una, eso es un pato, ¿no? alguien bizajoso, ¿cierto? Alguien así es como que, de una, eso es un pato, eso es como puede ser la descripción. Y charro es algo chistoso, bombón, algo charro es algo chistoso, algo cómico, algo, sí, algo que sea charro es eso. Uy, no diga que man tan charro, weón, es alguien que es fino, que... Sí, que es chistoso. Esa es la descripción, esa es la descripción. Dígame si está bien ahí. I love this audio because you could see all the expressions I just showed you and more. <laughs> For example, see how he calls me bonbon? Bonbon is something sweet, a candy, and it's normal that Pisces call women like that. They do it from women to women and from women to men too. Another expression is bizajoso, and this one I would say is Colombian in general, and it basically describes someone you don't trust, like someone that gives you a feeling of something is off. And huevón is some, someone stupid, but paisas use it all the time in a different context with their friends. Um, this is also used in Bogota and other Colombian regions. Same for marica, which translates to faggot um a gay person but in colombia we use it with our friends too it's all about context that was it for today's video let me know in the comments if you guys know any other medellin slangs i forgot to mention do not forget to like this video subscribe and turn on notifications so youtube lets you know when we post the next one hasta la próxima